on a Facebook post asking um, what is a, the effective methods for reducing depression and anxiety. Gut and brain access. A huge surprising number of people in the comments were all linking and suggesting a whole food plant-based diet which I was so surprised that that many people in the comments section were so informed and correctly so because anyone can look up the published peer-reviewed clinical population research on the effects of whole food plant-based diets for treating and preventing uh, neurobehavioral disorders such as chronic anxiety, depression, even ADHD, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, dementia, and every basically every other neurotransmitter related behavioral and cognitive behavioral disorder, as well as numerous other chronic uh, degenerative diseases as well. And, but then I was blown away as the comments to one of my comments and said, oh, well, a carnivore diet is effective and can do the same thing as well. First of all, no, it's not. No, it's absolutely not. Unlike a whole food plant-based diet, which has numerous, I mean, tons of peer-reviewed published research studies designed that show that and demonstrate the uh, the effects of a whole food plant-based diet on depression and anxiety and all these neurobehavioral disorders a carnivore diet does not and there is zero research suggesting or so, or showing that and the reason why is the mechanisms behind why is because the gut bacteria only feeds on fiber only feeds on resistant starch in other words, insoluble fiber, the fiber, dangerous, deadly fiber that we can't digest, that cuts up our bowels, and the reason why humans aren't designed to eat plants because our, we can't digest plant fiber, and therefore we're not designed to eat it. Bullshit. The actual mechanics of how this works is that our gut bacteria break down plant fiber, and that is what makes the plant fiber so healthy and then because the bacteria digests it that bacteria produces short chain and medium chain fatty acids such as neurotransmitters serotonin dopamine butyrate and propionate butyrate being probably the most important because butyrate is the only fuel source of the gut epithelial lining the the single cell layer thick gut wall the gut wall is only a single layer thick and that layer only is fueled by butyrate so in other words, it's only fueled by plant fiber. In other words, our gut lining feeds exclusively on plant fiber that is produced by the bacteria. So if the minute you start stop eating plant fiber, such as on a carnivore diet, your gut you go into gut dysbiosis. That's what happens. You ch your enterotype changes from a from a <clears throat> Prevotella dominant, which is a plant-based dominant, which is a healthy gut biome, and it switches to a bacteroides dominant enterotype, which is a meat-based enterotype, which is toxic and destroys the entire gut lining and knocks down every other systemic chain in the whole body, causing chronic disease and degeneration there on out. But so the minute you stop eating plant fiber, you're, it, it stops producing butyrate in the gut, which causes the gut lining to then, the junctions to then leak and causes leaky gut, irritable, irritable bowel, IBS, Crohn's, and all gut degenerative diseases. And the minute you start reintroducing fiber, that starts repopulating the gut with the bacteria, producing serotonin, dopamine, butyrate, propionate. Those are the neurotransmitters that prevent anxiety, chronic depression, ADHD, neurobehavioral disorders such as autism, it, it markedly improved by a whole food plant-based diet, reverses and prevents and treats autism. That's what it does. You can look it up. You can look up the clinical research. It's, it's all there. I've got a full, I've done full video presentations demonstrating, showing all the studies on the screen, reading you all the studies on screen, showing you and debunking everyone else who doesn't know what they're talking about and who makes all these claims without any research to support it or back it up. The research does not support it and back it up. It's ridiculous. You need serotonin, dopamine, butyrate, and propionate. You need these short chain, medium chain fatty acids. They are produced by the bacteria in the gut. You need to eat the fiber to cultivate those that gut biome, to cultivate those healthy gut bacteria. The minute you stop eating fiber, you go on a fast, you go on a carb, uh, carnivore diet, you start restricting carbohydrates, you start starving your gut bacteria, which kills off your gut lining, causes leaky gut, dysbiosis, and 
all of the other IBS Crohn's, all of the, all the other things that knock down the chain from the gut junctions leaking, which leaks undigested proteins in through the bowel wall, which get into the lymph system, causes autoimmune disorders to attack those foreign proteins, which leach through the bowel wall because it's leaking. And so it's, it's all caused by lack of fiber. You need to eat more whole, whole plant foods. You need to eat more. You're not eating enough. I don't care how much you're eating. It's not enough. Our paleo ancestors, based on their fossilized coprolites, which are fossilized poop, had bacterial colonies that suggested that they were eating that and as well as fiber content that they were eating over 150 grams of fiber every single day. And of course, the ancient paleo plants were much more fiber dense. They were smaller like the wild apples. They're tiny, they're much small and the wild blueberries. The wild versions of the plants were much smaller, much more fibrous, thick, dense, hard to chew, hard to digest and much, not hard to digest, our gut bacteria thrives on that and that's what it thrives on and it loves to eat that undigestible fiber. We can't digest it, our gut biome digests it, breaks it down, turns it into short chain fatty acids and it, neurotransmitters. This is what happens. This is all the science, all the science is out there. There's no science that debunks it. There's no science that refutes it. You can look it all up. I've already done it for you in my full videos. I'll link them in the comments in the description down below. You can go to my YouTube channel, you can find